Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Bob. Coming to you from Manila in the Philippines. So I want to talk a little bit about our travel here and some of the experiences. And you're going to see some other video clips coming up soon. We took Delta Airlines and connected with Korean Airlines in Los Angeles. Then we flew through Seoul, Korea and then changed planes and came down here to Manila. I have to say the service was outstanding. Here it is, 4th of July weekend in America, and all kinds of stories about flight cancellations. Ours were all on time. Praise God for that. He was looking out for us. So on time through Delta Airlines, on time Korean Airlines. Korean Airlines service is outstanding. Their planes are awesome. The Incheon Airport is awesome. The price was great. I can't say enough good things and no, I am not getting compensated at all for talking about Korean Airlines. This is my personal experience. Now, when we got here to Manila, things weren't so good. Um, we kind of left one of our small bags in the taxi. I uh, didn't realize it until about an hour after we got to the hotel. Thanks to my wife, who's very good, and this is her native country here. She was able to talk to the right people, and we ended up catching up with our bags, one of our bags, very important one. So that kind of made our initial experience a little rough. I'm doing this video from Purple Tree Bed and Breakfast in Manila. I would not recommend this place. The water shut off last night, so we didn't have any water. It means we couldn't use the toilet. The water's still off this morning, and that's not good. They say around here in this part of Manila, oh, well, that just happens. There's water shutoffs. Well, you know, if that just happens, then this is not a place where you want to stay in this area. I've stayed in Manila many times. Maybe one of the reasons is I decided to <clears throat> get a good price on a, on a room, and that's what happens when I try to get a good price, right? I got what I paid for. So the fact that no water, the Wi-Fi sucks. The Wi-Fi sucks terribly. These days, you gotta have good Wi-Fi. It worked for a little while, stopped working today. So that's not good. We're gonna be out of here in about two hours and we're gonna head up to Carino province. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to see what it's like up there, up near Santiago area in uh, Carino province. We're gonna spend some time up there and then some time in other parts of the Philippines. I will say here about Purple Tree Bed and Breakfast in Manila, I would say again, stay away from this place. The breakfast wasn't bad. The coffee was delicious. So, I mean, that's at least a plus right there. Okay, coming up, you're gonna see a few clips from our travel and our trip through the airport and uh, taking a shuttle bus and changing terminals and things like that at LAX and then I'll be back. Well, chilling at LAX because we have a long layover here before we pick up Korean Airlines. And uh, we're gonna change planes in Incheon, Korea, and then into the Philippines. So one of the keys when you're at a big airport like this is to find these locations right here where they got these benches where you can lay down and relax and stretch out and stretch out your legs, things like that. Take a little nap like, uh, certain people are doing here and this is just part of international travel it's uh, not the fun part but it's part of it with my family we're here in LAX we're on the tarmac yeah and what we're doing here is we're having to catch a shuttle bus here over to uh, get to the international terminal and we're waiting for that shuttle bus to come uh, we left our original destination, change of planes in Los Angeles, the and then we're going to pick up Korean Airlines flight. I think that might be the bus, but this is just some of the travel uh, challenges that you run into when you're making a trip like this, and you got to go through big airports and go from one terminal to another. So our suggestion is carry the lightest luggage you can. Make sure you got the most comfortable shoes on that you can, right? Make sure you got the comfies on and ones that are going to take you a long way because 
You do a lot of walking. You do a lot of walking, you do a lot of waiting. It looks like our shuttle buses might be coming right here. Yep. To pick us up, take us over to the international terminal. More later. If you're flying Delta like we are, it's called Delta Skyway. Uh, Delta Skyway Shuttle. Well, there you have a little taste of traveling internationally if you haven't before. Hey, one more thing I'll say about this purple tree bed and breakfast. I will say that the breakfast and the coffee was good, but the rest of the place was terrible. Anyway, getting back to the travel part of it, we didn't get much sleep at all. I, I just don't sleep on airplanes. I don't know about you, but I don't. So it was really good to at least have a good bed here and some good air conditioning, I would say, and get a good night's rest. And now we're ready to go with the rest of part, the rest of our trip. So thanks for watching another episode of Real Talk with Bob, and I'll be back again soon.